to say a big welcome to you, DJ Switch to 103.9. Thank you. <laughs> um, DJ Switch, <laughs> how, how, how do you feel? How do you feel? In fact, I even feel like crying. For what you and your people have done for me, a special welcome. I mean, the whole world. I do feel like crying. You feel like crying. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, uh, you know, we, we're very, very excited, you know, about the feats you're actually uh, garnering and the great things that are happening to you. You're only 10, and um, a lot of things that are happening to you are things that, you know, people uh, that have actually been around for a long time wish, you know, could uh, come their way. Um, let's talk about the four goalkeepers 2018. Uh, first of all, did you expect anything like that uh, to come your way? No, I never expected that. I was like, I'm going to play in Ghana. My special request was to go on big platforms. Mm. And I never expected it. You never did. No. Now, I, I, you see, at, at 10, I, I would like to know whether you really appreciate, like, what exactly, you know, the people behind goalkeepers, you know, are, and what goalkeepers really mean. What, who, who actually is behind goalkeepers 2018? Goalkeepers 2018 is the one who is the founder of goalkeepers 2018, Bill Gates. So, say, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Right. And Bill Gates is the second richest man in the world. And I know his worth is 97.9 billion US dollars. 97.9 billion US dollars. That's how much he's worth. Yeah. And such an important personality invites you to the United States of America to perform. Um, you know, I know there are a lot of DJs across the world who would actually want such an opportunity to perform before Bill Gates, who's worth what you just mentioned. How did it feel when you received this news? And yeah, first of all. When I heard that he was the second richest man. Second richest man. Second richest man in the world. Second richest man. <laughs> Woo. Second richest man. But someone will be, won't even get the third richest man to even go. Like, I did not go for from the fourth richest man. I just went straight straight to the second richest man. man. <laughs> <laughs> it was incredible. No, I even thought like going crazy. <laughs> going but crazy at the time. But I realized that if I go crazy, <laughs> <laughs> so you have to stay sane. Uh, in case you just join us, as DJ Switch, oh, wow. um, Ghana's um, hottest DJ sensation right here with me talking about her experience. So, all right, so you heard about goalkeepers and um, you had to go perform. And this, this was one of the, in fact, the biggest platform yet. So what was preparation like for you? Knowing very well you were going to play before world leaders, what, what was preparation like? How did you put your act together? How did you go? Yeah. <laughs> like, when I heard it, I was like, give no time. Right. Start preparing your playlist. Even if you use the whole day, you will never, like, you know, you can't be teenager. You, know? <laughs> you need to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so I got the songs. Right. Arranged them, mm. healed them, and made sure that everything was on point. I got up everything I needed. I never left anything at home. But no, when we went, the console they gave. Right. And to the extent I even called you mm -hmm. to take 
mentioning some of the things on that console that you know I needed like you know you need to move on in, li in life yes so 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 you, so you made it happen yeah then then to the d-day um you go on stage you were introduced to the to the to the guy uh, I, I know you actually started the show yeah. so um later you were introduced were you were you nervous at the time were you nervous like hey these are the biggest people in the world and i'm i'm right before these people were you nervous were you scared how i want to know what was going through your mind at the time Before these giants, ninety-seven point nine billion, all these people. I wasn't. Mm. Not even the tiniest nervousness <laughs> I've ever seen in my life right. came into me. Mm. I made myself confident that, to the extent that the second richest man has invited you. Go keep us twenty eighteen, mm -hmm. and you are going to feel nervous. What, my man, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Right? You are nervous in front of these people, even if you are supposed to be nervous in Ghana. Mm. It's okay. No, but I'm... the second richest man. No way. Even <laughs> when you finish the show. <laughs> Your parents will ask you, are you okay? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> right, so um, in case you just join us, uh, you're live on Hit103.9 FM if you're watching us via uh, Facebook. Um, it's time for you to share so your friends actually get to see uh, what is happening. My name is Mercury Quay and I'm here with Ghana's youngest DJ. Her name is DJ Switch, fresh back from the United States of America where she played at Goalkeepers 2018. Uh, organized by Bill Gates and Melinda Gates Foundation. Right, so you started playing, and uh, we all saw the video, you know, while you were performing. They, they were very excited. They were tapping feet. They were, you were actually controlling these leaders, asking them to put their hands in the air and all of that. At that time, when they started responding to your performance, did they give you confidence? Did you say, okay, I have arrived? What was going through your mind at the time? When I responded, my performance I made myself more like I needed to accept like if they are happy they mm -hmm. need to be excited right so I played a song which when you were taking me through the console you told me that at this point that they've responded to your performance you need to shout Yo, yo, what's up? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> and when I shouted that, you could hear, Wow! <laughs> <laughs> right. So that was the response. Yeah. Wow. Um, I, I am intrigued. I mean, I'm just wondering how you were able to put all these things together, you know, um, get your playlist together. There were very significant songs in your playlist. Um, you played "Where Is the uh, um, Where Is the Love" by Black Eyed Peas, and you played um, Shakira. This time for Africa. These are very significant songs. What went into the selection of these songs um, for Goalkeepers 2018? Shakira, this time for Africa. I chose that song because. This time for Africa, I'm a Ghanaian, mm. and I need to represent my country. Yeah. It's not like uh, I've been to New York, so you don't even remember as you go. Mm. No, I'm representing my country. I'm not a black American. Right. Not, not a white girl. I am an African. I, I don't want representing your country yes. is very great. Yeah. If you don't represent your country, then I went to the stage and just started God's plan. <laughs> <laughs> no. Playing Drake and no. Nicki Minaj and all of that. No. 
Phoenix will represent your country. Wow. Like, that's why I even came with this. That's why I even came Representing with this. Ghana. Ghana. Yes. So, I'm wondering now, um, this was a 10 year old girl, uh, DJ from Africa, Ghana, playing Shakira, and 80% of the of the gathering were actually people from the other side of the world, not from Africa. What was their response to Shakira's music? When they heard Shakira, they was like, no, this girl is, I mean, she's something some, else. Some people even got by saying, this girl is damn crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Just say thank you. Yeah. Right. It was so good. It was fantastic. Well, in case you just joined us, it's DJ Switch uh, right here on Hit Twice Road 3.9 FM in an exclusive, um, you know, chit chat uh, with Mercury Quay right here. And uh, we're talking about her trip to the United States of America where she performed before Bill Gates, the second richest man in the world, and other world leaders, including the president of France, Emmanuel. So you got to meet the president of France. Yeah. <laughs> you are so lucky. I, I <laughs> that's that's like a dream uh, for millions of people. Can so, you imagine today when I went to school, mm -hmm. I was in class and it was time for science. <laughs> right. My science teacher came. So you met France the, uh, president. You were. Eh? <laughs> wow so you see I, I i was actually having a conversation with a couple of colleagues uh, you know sometime i think yes uh friday do you do you really understand the people you are meeting like this is the president of france this is bill gates do you really understand, like, when you meet these people, do you understand who they are? Like, do you really, do, do I, I want to know from you. I understand, like, Bill Gates. Mm -hmm. To the, you know, some people don't understand Bill Gates. <laughs> to, the, to that standard, when I went to school, my friend asked me, who is Bill Gates? Mm. And my other friend said, uh, so you don't know Bill Gates? Bill Gates, he's the one who opens the gate for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and my, my other friend asked me, so is Bill Gates who? I was sitting there watching mm -hmm. the video like that. Then the same friend, you mm. went, you ask questions as if you don't understand them. How can you how can you ask me whether a security man is not old? Don't come to see that a security man is very old. He said yes, Bill Gates is old, but I understand. I understand Bill Gates. To the extent that he is the world's richest man getting to school for one of my music teachers saying that. So I didn't bring some of the money there, Bill Gates money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just you just want to do your yeah, thing, yeah. and that's the most important thing. All right, so let's talk about uh, meeting the French president, French president, the president of France. Yeah. Je suis avec le puntre. I'm like, yo, <laughs> <laughs> how 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 did it happen? not go to him. No. He he stopped you, right? And he said uh, he did a great job I said thank you. And I heard someone saying that's the that is the French president. And I said in my mind that 
You give the press that condition. <laughs> <laughs> right. And what was his response? He said, when I said only on one condition, he said, can you tell me? I said, yes. To the stand that you don't even ask me a question on stage. He said, so you don't want me to ask you a question on stage? He said, yes. And when they called his name, I told him, I told him, no, he's going this way. So I turned and he pulled me. <laughs> <laughs> he turned and I also turned and he pulled me on stage. And he asked me a question. I did not realize it was a question. He asked, So you're DJ and you're 10, right? At that point, I got confused. Is that a statement? <laughs> so, so, so that was rhetorical, right? <laughs> So that's my question, right? <laughs> <laughs> because he asked the question that he answered himself. <laughs> right. So that's when you uh, went on stage with him. So when you got on stage with him, I mean, I, I watched a video. <laughs> At that time, what was going through your mind? On stage with the president of France. And he, he's delivering a speech. What, what was going through your mind at the time? Mm. Great. So after his speech on stage, what did he say to you? He said, I, I, I didn't like I left before he was done. Right. I, left, I left the stage, so I didn't see him. Okay. But why did you have to leave the stage? It was part of the arrangement? Yeah. Okay. That'd be okay. All right. So uh, in case you just joined us, it's Ghana's youngest DJ. Uh, her name is DJ Switch, uh, straight back from the from New York City in the United States of America. Okay. Okay, okay. New York. New York. New York City. I hear you. All right. So uh, um, then at the same place, you met one of the one of the finest one of the most revered models in the world, Naomi Campbell. She came to you or you went to her? Naomi Campbell. I was then taking my lunch. Right. And when, when we're leaving to watch the performances in the auditorium, mm. one of the crew members came and said, please, can you wait for me, Naomi Campbell? I've requested she's coming. Wow. Okay. Wow. Yes. Naomi wants to take a photo with you. Yes. Man, <laughs> you're so special. So you waited for Naomi. Yeah. What is what's the first thing she said when she came, when she, she met with you? You know, whenever every adult meets you, how are you? See. Right, and um, I know you also met one of the finest uh, directors in the world. Yeah, the finest director and also producer of movies. Movies, yes. Al um, Mahara. She, I went for a dinner with her. Hmm. That was after the big tour with the YouTubers. Right. And I went for a dinner. Her. Yeah. 
Right. So, uh, okay, so in case you just join us, it's DJ Switch right here. Um, sharing, she, she is sharing the, the story with us right here on Hit 103.9 FM. So, it, it was almost all over. Then, out of the blues, CNN came your way. How did that happen? CNN. CNN actually came. I never knew it was CNN. I thought it was some of the you know, radio stations who wanted to have an interview with me. Mm. Like a thing came and said, Okay, please, you want to have an interview with me? You mentioned the name from CNN. And I'm like, Yeah, CNN is a very big, big platform, station. right? Okay, let's go. Okay, <laughs> mommy, we went and I sat down and I saw. I was like, CNN, I need to put out my best. Best. And they asked, they started asking me questions. Let me ask them. Answer this question in this way. It was perfect. Answered all the questions. Mm. It was a great interview. All right, so let's compare your interview with the BBC and the CNN. Which did you enjoy more? I enjoyed both. Both. Equally. Yeah. Uh, right, so uh, I'll get on Facebook and check out what Ghanaians are saying. All right, uh, Eric Nana Price says, Go higher, Erica. You always switch my mood and part anytime I Thank watch your you. shows. My name. <laughs> <laughs> and please don't forget God, because with Him you shall go beyond your. Uh, expectations i love you at uh, bright jackson black says hard work always pays so dear keep it up don't listen to the bad biters job bless you switch and black cat says dj switch to the world chrissy evan says my girl go higher albert nana akoto lutui says she is just awesome uh senior a papa says i love this girl she's too much Hetty pound says proud of you sweet girl and abraham and Ajete says, I like the way she's talking. A proud Ghani, and I hope this spirit of patriotism continues. Is that going to be a day where you say, Ghana, Mirana, Bianchi girl? No. Okay. Being Ghana, as I said, they even said, support your own. My flag is here. Everywhere. To be with <laughs> Everywhere. It'll be with you. Or say, Pisa says, wow, she is brave. Next time, please come to California. And uh, Watchy Adam Genia says, DJ Switch is blessed beyond measure. Dixon Hagan says, can't even imagine if I'm listening or watching DJ Switch. My goodness, Lord is blessing you all the way. And Richard Allford says, very intelligent girl. Thank you. <laughs> you. You hear that a lot of times. You are intelligent. You're really intelligent. <laughs> all right, so um, what is next for... DJ Switch. After Goalkeepers 2018, um, what's next? I know you have a couple of shows coming up. Um, so, what what is what is next for you? My next thing is I'm releasing my new song. Right. I'm releasing it, but it's not out yet. It's not out yet. Okay, so you, when it's out, then it means you, you have released it. Yeah. <laughs> what is that song about? It's about forgiving. Forgiving. Yeah, it is made with English and French, but a little English. A little tree, all right. Okay, can't wait for that one. And I, I also know you've got uh, something coming up with Stone Boy. Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, we wish you all the best on that one. All right, so uh, what is the next show for DJ Switch? The, the, a lot, <laughs> a lot of them, a lot of them. All right, so uh, let's keep it this way uh, for now. So, have you heard from? Um, some of the people you met in America since you actually touched down. Yeah. Mm. I heard from a lot of them. Those I've met, those who saw me and took my mommy's contact. Mm. I met a lot of them. A lot of people. Yeah. To the point when I was, we went like, we were on the street, we wanted to walk on the street. And when I came out, 
to know more about you. DJ Switch, you have met, you have actually played for the French ambassador, um, you have met the president of Ghana, you've met the president of France, you've met the second richest man in the world, Bill Gates. Who do you want to meet? Support your own. Yes. I want to meet foreign and, you know, in Ghana here. Right. So. I want to meet all the musicians. You want to meet all the musicians? Yes. Can you mention three musicians, local or foreign, that you are longing to meet? I can't mention local. Right, for now. Yeah. You want to keep. I want to meet <laughs> everyone. So you want to meet Shatawali, you want to meet Stoneboy, Sarkodie, Samini. All of them, yes. right? So let's talk foreign. Foreign, I like Beyonce, right? Rihanna, right? Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj. Yeah. Okay. No. All right. All right. So she said it. So uh, Nicki Minaj, Beyonce. DJ Khaled. <laughs> so what happens if you, if um, right after this interview you had information that Nicki Minaj is inviting you uh, to, to come do something with her? Or what would the feeling be like? I know it is only those watching on Facebook that will see this. I will go like... <laughs> I will feel like... Damn. Right, so uh, that's what her response is going to be. Uh, DJ Switch, thanks so much for um, speaking to us on Hits 103.9 FM exclusively. Uh, you promised me that your first interview was going to be with me, and that's exactly what happened. So um, tell me before you go, I mean, when you went in there and the console was totally different, what did you say? Did you say, Becky, what is this? What did you say? <laughs> I was surprised. I saw that the console was different from mine, but I made up my mind that no, I need to do this. You'll make it happen. Yeah. And don't say you're not part. We called you and <laughs> <laughs> you, you explained it to me that this one does this. I said, this one is one does, this one does. You need to do like this so that this won't happen. Right. Uh, thanks very much once again for joining us, DJ Switch. You are actually a you are a very iconic personality um, as a stance, and a lot of people look up to you, both young and old. Right. So, what would be your message to all the people who look up to you, watching you, listening to you on the radio right now? What What's your message to them? Uh, to motivate them, to inspire them, what do you have to say to them? I will say they should learn hard mm. because education is the key to success. And also, I will tell the mothers that they should support their work if they want to do something, mm. even if. It is dancing, singing, even if it's writing mm. or drawing. Now writing, some, some of the kids derive blessings. We can write about 
something someone would say mm. all day long. So right. it's also a talent. Okay, more like transcribing. Yeah. Okay. And no, drawing. Mm. And you know, football skills and all that. Right. Yeah. So so they should they should support. Um, you, you, you think you think a lot of parents are not supporting their awards when they want to actually explore their talent, God-given talent, right? All right. So uh, thank you very much once again for joining us right here. And um, uh, you were actually supposed to have been on an interview with Fifty Cent. Uh, time didn't permit you, so uh, it has been rescheduled. So you're actually going to get to. Hang out with 50 Cent. Yeah. Go shawty, it's a birthday. <laughs> well, you know, you're, you're really blessed. So, uh, Switch, once again, uh, thank you for um, joining us right here on Hit 103.9 FM. And um, I know you, apart from talking to, you know, the fans and those that look up to you, what word do you have for DJs in Ghana? What I have for DJs in <laughs> All I have for DJs in Ghana is, you know, it's not everyone who get this opportunity. So I would tell them that even though we rehearse, I would tell them that they should rehearse a lot. And also, make sure that. Always move on in life, but not get stuck at one place. Okay, they should keep exploring. Yeah. They should keep exploring. All right. Uh, so that's the word from uh, Ghana's youngest DJ to all DJs in Ghana. Um, time to say goodbye. I I want to ask this question. What are your what What do you think? Um, Okay, let's just leave it out. <laughs> let's just leave it out. All right, so thanks very much for joining us, Ryan. DJ Switch. I know uh, you don't have a way to put it. That's why I said. Uh, yes, I, I, don't, I don't have a way to put it. And I, yes, yeah, so let's just leave it at that. Thanks very much for joining us. Let's get into this one. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. I was going to ask a controversial question. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>